Darren, Ify Oma, we're here at the start of a very exciting project for the Scottish FA and for these pupils. Have you enjoyed meeting the kids this morning? Yeah, it's been great. I think um, all the kids seem extremely excited. It's great seeing them here with all their parents. They're in hand and they're having a great day, but we've also got to remember it's the start of a, a new era, if you'd like. The, the SFA have put together these regional schools and as the manager spoke about, it's a plan going forward and the plan is to start somewhere. I think the long term is that these players will be playing in the national team, uh, the men's and women's national teams in many years to come and, and, and it's exciting times. Afioma, you spoke to the pupils about your pathway into the game and have you went to America to marry football and education. How important is it for them to be starting early and doing this at home? Uh, I just think obviously the more that you train, you know, the better development you're going to have for your career in the long run. And like I said, when I started out when I was 18, you know, and I've got to where I've got to, I'm just thinking like if I'd started out earlier, you know, like in an environment where I was able to train for, you know, like six more years, you know, sky's the limit. And I just think obviously, you know, it's going hand in hand with the skills, so it's going to be a good thing for Scotland that, you know, the skills are, I mean, the curriculum are combined and it's going to help, you know, with their football as well. Because, you know, sometimes here when you get to you know, university, that doesn't happen. So for that to happen at a younger age, that's going to you know, bode well for the future. Greg, tell us about some of the work that's been going on to get us to this point. Um, well, for these kids, obviously we've had a trial process, we've had parents in, we've had school report cards. Um, the learning has to be go hand in hand with the football programme, so we're looking for kids that show an aptitude to learning. We've held 2020 um, camps on a weekly basis, just to introduce the kids to some of the content that they're going to be getting. So there's been a lot of hard work behind the scenes. We've also put together some of the new curriculum with Mark and Neil um, and all the coaching staff. So it's exciting times and today just starts it all for us. Is this really the start of the performance strategy kicking into action now? Yes, well, well we have been busy uh, the last 12 months and also uh, on, on other areas with the national youth, te youth teams. We have been working very hard, but the performance schools have been uh, well prepared for the last six months. We'll start this week. so. It's such an exciting project. I mean, if you see the kids today, the big eyes and the, the big ears, you know, they're taking in so many information. They're in the same room with Darren Fletcher, Ifeo Medica with the two national team managers, uh, Craig Levine and Anna Shingel. It must be the best football day of their lives. And it's only the beginning. Um, they have to put in, uh, put in a lot of work and also at club level, of course. Uh, um, but uh, they have to sacrifice. But there's no uh, success without any sacrifice. And, the fact that the parents are all turned up is so important as well because the parents must play a very supportive, encouraging role. So I think this is a very positive day for the Scottish football.